Keir Starmer, I understand, has been coming on a storm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's sort of become a running... So I do Boris Johnson and mm. Donald Trump and a few of the others, but Keir Starmer's kind of one of the surprise hits of the show. Right. Because I think, first, it, no one else is impersonating him, Paul. So there's that, that element, I want to come to talk sport on behalf of the Labour Party <laughs> and congratulate Arsenal on Champions League football. Yes, we missed out on the Premier League. <laughs> but there's that slight trailing yeah. off thing that he has. So he's a running joke, and I just think because people have not heard impersonated before, yeah. then there's a cachet to that. Because there's lots of people who do Boris and Trump, um, and uh, that's a good thing. But I think Starmer is kind of new. And that's one of the joys of spitting images. When it's a new person and a new puppet and a new voice, mm. there's a novelty to that. And, mm. and that's a cachet of updating it in 2023. So he's one of the more... Uh, he's kind of like a running gag in it. Yeah. I suppose it's, it must be, mm. if, you, if you're the first person to attempt the voice, like when I see someone and think, well, how on earth, that sounds just like a normal voice. I can't imagine what you'd pick out from the way he delivers anything or the way he speaks, what you'd pick out to, to Im, impersonate that. But I suppose what your ear is, is learning, working out where you put it in your voice. You know, is it in my nose? Is it yes. in my throat? Is it in the whole of my head? All those things. Where you put it, who does it sound a bit like yes. so you can change another impression to, to sound <laughs> yeah. like that? You know, and then I think a lot of impressions become impressions of the first person who did the impression. That's right. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's all absolutely true. And with him, I watch a lot of it anyway. So a lot of the voices I do are either politics or sport really because that's all I watch on telly so with Starmer I think a lot of the time if you just make your body he's quite upright and his arms are up here and he yeah, sounds a bit yeah. tied up tight it's a bit Josh Whittaker as well isn't it it's a bit Josh Whittaker matter I don't think we should be voting Labour at the next election <laughs> and it's that sort of thing and it's a bit Ed no, Miliband you know, come yeah. on yeah. so there's that sort of measle thing in there and then obviously <laughs> yeah. I mean I just started doing Sunak I don't do him in the show but you know he's got that whole, yeah, you know, management speak. And it's a bit like Tony Blair. It's a bit like the mm. guy off the in-between us. But he's got that sort of <laughs> yeah. bouncing stuff going on. I think sometimes if you just make yourself move a bit like the yeah, person, yeah, you can shape it. your mouth like them, then, Physical. yeah, come on, guys. You know, I love talk sport, big Southampton fan. Yeah. And they're, that sort of, they're both kind of got those traily offy voices that yeah. most people don't have. And so do the puppeteers pick up on those? Do, do the puppeteers do anything that you think, oh, actually, I didn't know it's that they did that? Oh, yeah, all the time. And and because they're um, puppeteering along to the voice track, you, yeah. you know, with Bully Sean's... Blah, 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 you know, the, the puppet can start doing that. With Donald Trump, everybody says it. And they'll just move bits <laughs> differently. Yeah. You think, man, this is incredible because it kind of looks like the person, it sounds like them, and it moves like them. Yeah. And there's a part of your brain, on some level, every night I've sat in that auditorium, that I genuinely feel like I've just been with the Queen, <laughs> Donald Trump, Harry Kane, Gareth yeah. Southgate and Tom Cruise. Like, on some level, I believe I've been hanging out with RuPaul yeah. Yeah. because yeah. The, the, the experience is so complete. Have you got a Steve Cooper in your locker? Can you, have you I was worked, thinking you of that. on the managers or not? Do you know what? The, 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 the only person I've been doing recently is Jack Grealish and I just think it's because he's got that, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, really. Like, I think because he sounds a bit like a stoner. <laughs> it's it's like, Osborne. Yeah, it's he is. Bit. Yeah, like Shall I like uh, <laughs> like puppets are mad, aren't they? Because like it looks like the person, but it ain't the person. <laughs> but, I mean, he's a really funny person to like exploit. So sometimes, for my own amusement, I'll sit at home and think, what would Jack Grealish say about <laughs> the IMF? Yeah, and I mean, like, yeah, because like you need money, and then like someone's got to be in charge of it. Like a mate of mine does Bitcoin and I don't get it, but like I don't know what the IMF do. Like, where do they borrow money from? Like, do I lend them money then they lend it me back? I'm like, my dad used to do that. Is he in the IMF? And like, this is like a, you could take any topic in the world. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. see it through the eyes of Jack Grealish, it's Jack a really Grealish funny on to could be yeah. a new, couldn't it? The balance yeah, of payments yeah, deficit. Yeah. It would be fantastic. And just explaining it, just or just his slightly sideways take on it. I don't, it. Know, if got, bills, I don't know if you've got the calves though for that to do yeah. that live, Matt. No, know? I haven't. No, in not a live show. Got some live shows coming up? Yeah, oh god, I'm doing the Edinburgh Festival. Oh, okay. Inside number ten, which is like a, a play on Inside oh, Number Nine. Yeah, lovely, yeah. Um, and I'm running out of puns basically, so <laughs> yeah. I've got to go in a different direction <laughs> yeah. for my titles. Um, but that's at the Edinburgh Festival for the whole of August, and then I'll tour it next year. Fantastic. And you do your podcast still, don't you? You're... Oh yes, yeah. The political party. So every other Monday, I interview a politician on stage. Yeah, and yeah. Margaret Beckett's doing it next week, a yeah. week on Monday, mm. and then I've got Joe Lysett's coming on. Oh lovely. wow, interesting. Mari Black. Dan Jarvis and, and I'm so excited about this, Jason Williamson, who's the lead singer of the Sleaford Mods. Oh, okay. The punk yeah, band from yeah, Nottingham is coming they're, up. They're yeah. on tour, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah, great.
Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.